girl, I hate that you're going through all of this. Look, you're going to have to ask God for help to release that anger and pain you had. I mean, you are suffering, and Derek is also suffering. What? How is Derek suffering? You know what? He should suffer. It is because of him that my baby is dead. Every single day, it is because of him that my baby is dead. Sheila, Derek wasn't driving a car that caused the accident. He didn't kill your son. He lost his son that day as well. He was the one that had to be strong enough to say goodbye for the both of you. He was the one that had to be without you by his side. Well, you were still unconscious. And when you woke up, he had to set his grief aside because he knew he needed to be there for you. He knew how devastating this would be for the both of you. His guilt has been eating him up inside ever since that day. He could never forget Joshua. But I can only imagine that every time he looks at you, he feels like he's staring at a reflection of his guilt. All he can recognize is his shame, hurt, and pain. Sheila, you have to realize you are not alone in this. He is hurting with you. Your family is hurting with you. And from what you've told me, it seems like he can't forgive himself because you won't forgive him. I mean, not once have you placed any blame on the driver of that other vehicle. Not once. But yet you have placed all the blame on his shoulders, and it's just not fair. Not fair? Really? Not fair? Look. Listen, I'm not here to pick a side, but what if it wasn't raining that day and that car still hit you and the outcome was the same? I mean, would you blame him then? What if it were you who were driving and wanted to keep going? I mean, how would you feel if he blamed you and wished you were dead? Look, I'm not saying that he is right or that you are wrong, Sheila, but you want to know why it's been two years and you haven't been able to move forward? I mean, how can you possibly move forward when you are gripping holes and every ounce of rage and pain you can squeeze from yourself? Girl, you have begun to embrace your pain. I mean, ask me how I know. Because you would rather lock yourself away with your hurt and pain because it's easier being angry than choosing to forget. Forgiveness is a powerful possession. It is often hard to forgive, Sheila. That is not true. Oh, come on. Your anger and pain has been your fuel, your drive, your strength. This is all habit. Like a drug to an addict, you keep going back for a fix. You hurt, so he has to hurt. You can't have peace, and neither should he.